Two men survived the traffic accident on Monday night in Roaring Creek after the motorcycle they were riding on crashed into a pickup truck traveling in the opposite direction. William Franco and Jose Gonzalez were en route to, from Camelota Village to Chun's store in Roaring Creek. Franco was commanding the motorbike. As the duo cleared the pedestrian crossing, a pickup truck overtaking another vehicle came in their path. The motorcycle crashed head on with the pickup truck. The impact flung the men to the pavement. Jose Gonzalez, who rode on the back of the bike, received injuries to his left leg, a cut to his head, and abrasions to several parts of his body. He has since been treated and released from the Western Regional Hospital. Around 9, 30, 10, about that hour, when we made it go wrong, when, well, I think the vehicle, our black vehicle, black truck, black, um, and so when uh, while we were go and as we pass the bomb, I see one next car come right. So I say I tell Bale watch out, watch out because a car I, I don't see the signal where they put so but in Kino they see we we don't see her. So but I never know if that was a woman or that a man because when we get the impact, we just fly and right there and all my leg everything, scrape up scrape up. I thank God no that uh, life. Because I could have made that and I get one in my head too. Okay. You understand? I may think I'm a block the, 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 the thing. And then your feet as well. Yeah, my foot boss up from from here. Like right from here to ya. Yeah, got both six, seven stitch. And then whole of the skin, all of the skin fire, yeah? everything totally gone. So what are the doctors saying? Uh, will you be able to walk on the foot again? Mm, um, well, he said, well, I have to stay to check because they said they have to take one next X-ray for see if they, if, if, if no yeah, bone or something, maybe crack in, inside or something. Franco, on the other hand, received severe injuries to the leg, the chest and head. He was taken via ambulance to the Western Regional Hospital, but soon after rushed to the Carl Hushton Memorial Hospital, where he remains admitted in a critical but stable condition. I don't know how that one, uh, what, 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 what happened to him because I think he gave one bad injury in his head and said, I think, um, I think the skull or something cracked down in front of the side or something. If, if foot broke from three parts, eight and I, his skull. So I don't really know if he will live or whatever, you understand? I'm quick at a shop. That a shop by Mr. Chun me going, mm -hmm. you understand? So we never me going far. I write that a Chun me going, I call that we me going. Go buy some, uh, he, he may collect some money from, from one man when we wanted to, so, but we couldn't reach there, eh? you understand? Who took you guys to the hospital? The ambulance, the ambulance, yeah. We were there for a half an hour up on the ground there and, and the ambulance no one reached. And like a lot of people from the creek get crowded and tell you, no, pick up them people, no, carry them people at the hospital. They tell the police and the police they never want to do it. Because they said, don't call the ambulance. Half an hour, we're there on the ground. You think that play that? No, man, they for to move more faster. That's why people dead sometimes in an accident. We can't move fast. The men didn't wear any protective gear while traveling on the motorcycle. Gonzalez says that the accident could have been worse, but at this time, he's unable to work and needs assistance. Yes, one other one. From Yana, we got two, two to come, right? So when we go, we don't cross the bump. So you know the bump always, you slow down. But I look like then, you know why, like in the run race or something? Because how we are, we are get up impact right so. And you know that our, that our, that our village, our vehicle not supposed to run then, 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 the higher speed, yeah, because suppose he could have me kill we. I just want to make the, make the little kindness or something, make it try help we at least for until meanwhile we know we I can work, you understand? You understand? Because then she would, she would drive carefully too. The driver of the vehicle has since been served with a notice of intended prosecution. Dwayne Moody for News 5.